Hi there, my name is Ivan and I'm a member of the Data Skills 25th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt chart from your CV. This will let you know how to visit your data career. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. Okay, so we've got our structured data. Now, if we go into our sheet, we can put, we can drag start date into our columns. If we just right click on start date, drag and drop it to columns. We want month, month start date as a measure. And then for our rows, we want the activity. We don't really want our software and our skills. So if we drag category into filters, we can just select education and work. Let's just make it an entire view. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want the duration of the activity to be uh, on size. So each of these bars would represent the um, amount of days we've worked or we studied. So to do that, we're gonna create a date diff calculation. We just go into the white space here just right click and say create calculated field. Let's name it duration of the activity. And what we want, we want a date diff. A date diff on the right hand side, we've got an example. So what it does is it gives us a difference between our two dates. The first specification is what you want it to be in. So days, months, years. Then we've got our start date and our end date. If we just type in day, comma, then our start date, and our end date. You see the calculation is valid. If you just press OK now, we can then drag this duration of the activity onto size to give us uh, the duration, the duration for each of these bars. Now we can see, got my college, which I started in 2015, ended in 2017. Then I've got my university. I've worked at a summer camp in, in 2018, summer of 2018. And then I've also got my work, which I worked throughout university. I've got that here. So what we wanna do now, actually we don't want our, um, our activity on the y-axis, we maybe want it on the bars. So if we just get rid of it, and click show header, and let's put activity onto label. Let's now change the alignments, change it maybe to the middle. Now we can see we've got we've got our activity on the bars. Got a nice visual of my work and my education history, which is quite useful. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you understand how to create a Gantt chart for your CV. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. 
If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can get notified when we release new videos.